right, as, as an additional training factor in order to help you teach yourself. So that, that's, that's the single most important part of learning is no one can really teach you how to play golf. Uh, all, all a teacher can do is, is explain and demonstrate to you. That's all he can do. It's up to you then to teach yourself based on the knowledge and the information that you've just received. And isn't it nice to know that you could teach yourself a perfect golf stroke right in the comfort of your own home without breaking the lamps, hitting the ceiling, knocking out the walls, if you had yourself a little short training club. A club here, you can get them almost anywhere with a special grip that will teach you how to hold a golf club. Extremely important. Extremely important. Now, get in the mirror and look at yourself. And let's start off with your, know what we know what our three-point set is, right? We know how to do that. And you get the cloth in front of you. Now, on the count of one to two, you remember this simple little motion? Huh? You remember that? How simple is that? Well, that's all we're going to do here. And the initial motion, then, is one to two. Now, the only thing you can see here is I did that with my hand. Now, on three to four, you merely pull your right hip straight behind you, pull it straight behind you, and your left arm goes straight up. Notice the right elbow still connected here. The left arm is on the stance line, and the right elbow coming up clock the left wrist. That's one to two, two to three. Now, three to four. This is a very important motion because you can see the angle of the club shaft at this point. The hands go right straight up that angle. There's no guessing where to go. They go up that angle as far as they can go. And you'll find that if you do this properly, and please do not cock your right wrist, you will see that you'll be in perfect condition right here. This will feel like a very tight condition. Your right elbow is really tight. Hip is back as far as you can go. The right knee is flexed. You're at the top of a perfect swing. Now, to start down, since the hands are above, we must connect the right arm where it was. This just means pull it down, let it connect. Your left hip will react to this motion. Because as I alerted you, if you pull your hip here, you see, your, uh, your right shoulder will go out, the club shaft will go out over the plane. So the single most important movement here is just pull down with the muscles of both forearms, just connect both arms. So this is three to four, this is four to five. This motion is five to six. Technically, all you did was come back to where you were. Technically. At this point, six to seven, you fire the right hand, the right forearm, at the ball. Out at the ball. Out at the ball. Your left hip will now respond by pulling directly behind you as your right arm straightens out to go right down the line. Please allow your head and eyes to follow the ball. Let your head rotate forward and up along with your right shoulder. At this point, you should totally be standing on your left foot, looking at the ball, eat up the target. Hold your arms up and smile because it's going to be going right where you wanted it to go. <laughs> if you can allow yourself to do that, just play it over and over. Play the tape over and over. Get in the mirror and teach that to yourself. It's the single most important part in your progress toward being the golfer that you really want to be. I assure you, you can be. Right. Uh, just to remind you again about the simple countdown to success. The one to two, two to three, Three to four, four to five, five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine, and nine to ten. A total, complete golf stroke. Do it in slow motion. Watch yourself do it. I assure you, it'll be just exactly what you want. Now let's do it from this point of view, right? Where we have the one to two, Two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to seven, six to seven. There's the one. That's out. Six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine, and nine to ten. All right, now let's do it this way, right? One to two, two to three, three to four, four to five. Five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine, and nine to ten. Better start smiling because the ball will be right where you want it to be. Right. Here we have something called a swing plane to help us get a better visual 
demonstration of what we went through before with the numbers. So you can see how I'm standing up here. Notice how the left arm at this point is fairly straight. This is a straight line from the shoulder. We know the club face is slightly open at impact. My head is over my right shoulder as I would be if I was striking the ball. Now from here, we're just going to start with the one to two condition, you know, where we just rotated the hands. Two to three. Right here, left arm on the stance line. Three to four. Four to five, we connect. Five to six, returning to where we started from practically. Six to seven. There's the one. There's the one. Six to seven. Seven to eight. But you notice how the whole body rotates forward. The eyes must follow the ball. The head moves forward over the right leg. The right shoulder moves forward as well. There you are. Now, right here, you're practically are all the way through the golf swing. Your club comes up. You let the wrists cock backward and let the elbows fold. And there you are in a perfect finish position, totally facing that target. That's the single most important step, allowing the eyes to move forward so that you can totally face the target. One to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine, and nine to ten. Right out of the book. Thank you very much.